Uh, if you're an internet follower, there is almost no hotter thing on the market right now than Mr. David Karp and Tumblr from New York City. David is what? You've been in the business, you're 24? 23. 23 and been in the business since 14, is that about? 15. 15? Okay, so again, all of you can consider that and check Tumblr if you're... Are we going to get it? Uh, Red Rock? Maybe. All set. Uh, we'll have our next panel and then it'll be lunchtime. So you'll be able to get something to eat. And lunch will be back at the hotel. Oh, waiting to get a signal. We got it. A minute away. OK, well, um, do you need to be there, Dave, or do you want to talk? Oui, it's normal. OK. I think we'll probably read a bit about this last interchange uh, courtesy. And by the way, if you want to tell your friends, I should mention right now, this is a good opportunity, everything up on this stage will be on the YouTube Monaco Media channel shortly after here, they ship it pretty much straight out and goes up. So if you want to relive any of that or tell anybody, hey, you, got, you, should, you should have been there, they can be there. Uh, so just send them to the, it's, I think it's youtube.com backslash MMF if I, if I am not wrong. Hashtag, uh, I don't know. No, Esther's asking a sexy question. Um, probably hash MMF, MMF09, okay. We're, we're trying to be in the 21st century here. It's Monaco, though, so we don't really try too hard. Uh, we try tastefully. Uh, is this going to work? We're good to go? No, it's not your fault. It's our fault for not thinking about having a, a hot swap here. We should have had these set up before, but anyway. OK. And then do you want to do the other one on the other side while he's talking? OK, you ready to go? I think so. Let's see. We're not up yet. Can we get the screens? There we go. OK, thank you. Thank you. It's going to be pretty much impossible to follow. Um, I, I want to just run through real quick what Tumblr is about. Um, this might actually, I, I'm hoping uh, enough of you have played with it before, but uh, most of our traffic, I think about 75% of our traffic today is actually generated uh, in the US and Japan. So this might actually be new for a fair amount of you. And uh, I'm uh, excited to show it off. So. Um, if you look at the spectrum of kind of content sharing sites on the web today, you've got the very closed uh, specialized tools on one end. Those are Facebook, Twitter, things like Flickr and YouTube that make it really, really easy to get content out there. Um, it's incredibly easy to share, you know, to dump a whole gallery of photos off your camera and put them up on Flickr. It's incredibly easy, easy to export a video out of iPhoto and toss it on YouTube. Um, it's integrated into, you know, so many cell phones today. Um, but they're very limited in what you can share and uh, what, how you actually present that content that you're sharing. All the way on the other end of the spectrum are the very, very robust uh, publishing tools. So those are WordPress, TypePad, um, platforms that give you a tremendous amount of expression but set a very, very high barrier to participate. They're incredibly customizable in what you can do. I mean, you can tear apart a WordPress installation and do pretty much anything with it. Um, but you know, for a lay user, that's a very complicated procedure. We've tried to design Tumblr um, as something that serves uh, two, uh, or it takes two very important aspects of both of these platforms. One is the simplicity in sharing, and one is the complete uh, robust customization. So to start with the sharing, uh, if you look at any publishing platform today, from you know, the, the paid CMSs to WordPress, this is actually a screenshot of the WordPress uh, CMS, uh, you get this big empty text box every time you go to, to post. Um, and the problem with this is it's really discouraging if all you want to do is share a song that you have stuck in your head, a photo of something you're doing right now. It's great if you want to write an essay. It's great if you want to create a multi-paragraph blog post. If all you want to do is you know, share something you're doing, again, it's uh, really quite discouraging. We solved that problem on Tumblr with these seven buttons. So instead of, thank you. So instead of one big generic form, you get um, 
seven buttons that expose micro forms, forms that look much more like the forms that you would get if you were uploading a photo to Flickr, uploading a video to YouTube, et cetera. So here's an example of what they look like. You would click photo, and it asks for a photo off your desktop. If you want to upload more than one, you can just drag and drop uh, five of them, and it'll create a neat little slideshow. Uh, quote is you know, something you tear out of a page, something prolific you read on uh, Huffington Post, and you want to put it up there and give them credit. It appears on your blog nicely formatted. Um, and because of this ease of sharing, the genre of content winds up looking much, much different than what you see on a traditional blogging, blogging platform. Um, even pretty different than this, the kind of stuff you see on Facebook or Flickr today, where the specialized tools encourage you to you know, dump a bunch of photos off your camera or share every bookmark to every site that you're reading right now. Um, this has a lot more of the consideration that people put into blogs, but a genre of content that's much more raw. That is the photo of, you know, I was just taking a photo right before I got on stage that I uh, used the iPhone app for to just push onto my blog. So everybody who follows me is in real time kind of watching me hop on stage and do this thing. Um, it's really this raw look through the author's eyes rather than their editorial perspective. It's, you know, the photos of the things that they're doing, the quotes of the interesting things that they're reading, uh, links to neat sites that they're finding, stuff like that. Um, and you compare this to you know, what other people are creating online right now, and they're not identities that they're proud of. And that's this thing that we've been really stuck on for a while, this idea that you, know, you can share these things in all different places, but Flickr and Facebook don't let me create something that I care to show off. Don't make it easy for me to create something that I want to put on my business card or tell a girl that I have a crush on to go look at. Whereas the things that people on Tumblr are creating are things that, I mean, as we've had the pleasure of meeting you know, hundreds and hundreds of Tumblr users, uh, things that they feel really represent them, things that they're proud of, um, things that are really their corner of the web and their identity online. Uh, what you're looking at here are a bunch of the original designs our community uh, has created. We've, we've been lucky enough to launch with a very design, um, aesthetically oriented community, um, and some of which have some real web shops, and these are some of the original themes that they've been creating on Tumblr um, and sharing with the community. Even if you are not a web head and not especially uh, aesthetically minded. We still make it very, very easy to customize that blog. So you come, you're creating that content, and you use a bunch of you know, really basic options, uh, but very extensive options, to uh, make this thing look any way you want. And if you are a touch more advanced, you can actually tear out the code and create something 100% original on Tumblr. Um, and that level of customization means uh, or sorry, one of the things that just, you know, really shows how people are using this as their identity is 17% of our users today. Um, are actually using their own .com domain names. Those are you know, their own property, their real estate on the web. They're pointing that domain name to us to host it for them, and they're using their own .com for their blog on Tumblr. Um, and then we take those identities and reinforce them with positive feedback. So unlike, oh, excuse me, unlike most blogs on the web today that have this very generic comment system, which, I mean, you know them as being predominantly used by bigots on YouTube, um, we've just totally skipped. We've gone with a... Um, more contextual approach, where rather than a big generic comment box attached to each post, we have on every post a like button, just a little heart, um, the ability to answer questions. So if I post something that ends in a question mark, anyone, Tumblr user or not, can come and in a little box just type out a 160 character answer to that question that if I sent from my phone will automatically be forwarded to my phone. So if I'm out looking for a restaurant or taking a photo of something, I want to know what is this place, where should I eat, um, I'll start getting messages texted back to me. Um, Photo replies, something new that we're testing, so I can you know, post a photo of you know, somewhere I'm hanging out and get, so I've been posting photos of myself here in Monaco and getting photos from uh, other readers and friends who have also been here showing me places to go. Um, and a feature called reblogging, which basically says, you know, rather than just leaving the LOL comment, rather than using a messy system like trackbacks, and rather than never getting credit for talking about me when you blog about something you know, that I'm proud of that I wrote, um, you can just tear that post out and put it on your blog, automatically giving the attribution. So that reblog button is basically an automatic little mechanized viral button attached to every post on Tumblr. And the interesting thing is by defining these really contextual interactions, um, it winds up being a pretty positive place. It's very hard to attack a blogger uh, with that big heart button. You know, it's hard to diss me with that heart. Um, it's very hard to insult someone who's asking a question. And it's hard to be vicious when my perspective is going on, my perspective about you is going on my blog. Because again, there's no comment box. Anything that I want to say about you, I first need to reblog that post and put my opinion on my blog. The other neat thing that that reblog button does um, is allow even our users who you know, maybe aren't 
writers, maybe don't have a terrible, uh, terribly large amount of original content to share, can still sort of play DJs on the network and remix a lot of the stuff that they follow, the interesting things that they find, and still create a very meaningful, valuable content channel. Um, in fact, I would say that's a, a fair amount of our, it's, I think, 30%, 20 to 30% of our content is reblogged content, so this sort of regurgitated content. Um, but there are a fair number of our bloggers who really don't share anything especially original, but they play curators on the network, build up followings, build up, you know, make real friendships, and uh, cr create real identities for themselves just out of this, you know, curated content. Um, and that feature means that content on Tumblr is going viral constantly, even if you're a brand new user. There's really no hierarchy of, you know, these are our top users and they're the ones that are always in the top directory so they continue to get liked and reblog the most and bubble up to the top. That's stuff you've seen on other services. Um, actually, I think YouTube is following. They've, they've had that issue for a while. Um, but this, the, the notion of reblogging lets something really interesting happen, which is a brand new user can show up on the network. This is actually one I'm showing you right here. This was a user who was on Tumblr for two weeks prior to posting this post, which was reblogged by a couple of her friends. I think she had Ten, some absurdly small number of followers, those are readers, um, when, the, when, she was, uh, when she posted this. Um, a couple of her friends reblogged it. A few people who were following her friends reblogged it again. Um, we, we track that whole hierarchy, by the way, that whole lineage of that meme. Um, and from there, a few super peers, a few very popular people on the network reblogged this thing. Um, exposed it to an audience of hundreds of thousands and millions of people. And this wound up being one of the most popular posts on our network for the two weeks that it was kind of bubbling up um, and had this user uh, at the, we don't expose these directories, but she was effectively one of our most followed, most popular user for that month as this, as this post was floating around the web. So just an example of kind of how we're, uh, some of the things that are really endemic to Tumblr that are totally unique to the blogosphere right now. So real quick and then I'll jump off. Um, uh, today, 10,000 new users will sign up for Tumblr. 85% of them are staying active. Um, 35% of them will integrate it with Facebook, so those things that they post to Tumblr will appear in their Facebook news feed. 15% uh, of them will do the same thing with Twitter. 30% um, of them will install a bookmarklet in their browser that lets them quickly just rip content out of any web page and put it on Tumblr. And 15% of them will install the iPhone app, which is very freaking cool. There's also a 1.3% chance every day that one of our blogs will get a book deal. Um, and this month, these numbers are actually now about three weeks out of date, which is awesome because we just passed, I just checked Quancast before I hopped on stage, 420 million impressions um, over the last 30 days. We've got, I think, two and a half million bloggers right now that created more than 40 million new posts last month um, and about 60 million unique visits, which equates to, uh, Quancast has us at about 20 million unique people uh, every month. And since we opened up a new platform for organized real-world meetups, those are people getting together and meeting because they're fans of each other's blogs, we opened up a new page to promote those, and we're getting about two new meetups every day. So we just launched that a couple weeks ago, but it looks like ne next month we're going to have about 60 international meetups. So there you go. Fantastic. Thank you for having me, guys. Now, this new, new, new media, I mean, it really can pop. And I, I wanted to kind of put that in here. Now,